You want to monetize your Faceless Shorts channel? You've probably watched all those videos teaching you how to create relationship facts, but Come closer. Let me tell you a secret. It's not going to work for you because millions of people are already making the same videos, so it's too saturated. That's why I'm here to save you with a completely different type of video that you can generate with just one click. I already made a video a while ago using the same method, but now I've decided to take it to a whole new level with this tutorial and give you the absolute monetizable, highly viewed type of shorts. I've created all kinds of shorts, from would you rather, to historical, to motivational, and here's the truth. These tutorials are great, I recommend checking them out, but they require you to edit and put in work. In this video, I will be showing you a no-brainer way to start making money from your shorts channel. So. Put everything aside and focus on what I'll be saying in this video. By the time this video ends, you will have a YouTube channel fully automated and the next four months of shorts ready, so you can just sit and watch the results. In this video, we will be using ChatGPT for the script and Canva to generate the shorts. This channel right here consistently gets thousands of views per video and even millions for some of them. They solely create quiz shorts and the great thing about this is that a lot of people watch this kind of videos, especially kids, keeping them engaged for longer periods due to their curiosity about the answers. These types of videos also generates a lot of comments because viewers often give extra information or express surprise at the facts presented. For example, when you create a video asking whether a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable, the correct answer is fruit, but many people are unaware of this, leading to heated discussions in the comments. Now, let's start the tutorial. The first step is to create the riddles, and to do that, we will use ChatGPT. The prompt we will be using is, as a renowned riddle expert, your task is to create 10 quick and interesting riddles for your audience to solve. The riddles should be easy enough to engage and entertain the participants. Each riddle should have three options and only one correct answer. Please follow the table format provided below to present your riddles. Now, provide ChatGPT with a similar format to the one mentioned in the video. After that, give ChatGPT an example. Then, ask him to ensure that the riddles are well-crafted, engaging, and provide a satisfying solution. Once you've done that, click enter. ChatGPT will generate them for you. Request to format the riddles in a table. Then ask for the number of riddles you want. Unfortunately, it can only generate five or ten at a time. So whenever it stops, just ask it to continue. Copy all of the generated riddles and put them in a Google Sheets folder. Then make sure to thank ChatGPT for his efforts because you never know what happens when AI takes over the world. Ha! <laughs> Please. Before proceeding with the tutorial, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Anyways, let's move to the next step. Go to canva.com, then click on Create a Design. Select the YouTube Shorts format. Next, add a background by going to Elements and choose any picture you like. Make sure to resize it to fit the whole screen. Afterward, add the title. Go to text and click on add a heading, then copy and paste the title from ChatGPT. You can change its font, size, or add some effects to enhance its appearance. Next, Extend the video by stretching the background image in the timeline to approximately 20 seconds or longer if desired. Add the hook by adding another text element and copying it from ChatGPT. Resize it to be under the title and add a shadow effect. Apply any animation you prefer. The next step is to make the hook appear one second after the title. To do this, right click on it and select Show Timing. Add another heading to include the riddle.
Modify the font, color, and add effects and animations. Place it on top of the hook because it will appear after the hook disappears. Click on Show Timing and make it start when the hook disappears. After that, add another heading to present the three options. Start by copying the first one, go to Effect, and select the background effect changing the color to red. Duplicate it by holding Alt on the keyboard and dragging with the mouse, creating three options. Hold Shift and select all of them to make changes simultaneously. Change their timing to coincide with the question, then add an animation. To engage viewers, make sure to add a pulse animation on top and reduce its intensity. Following that, add an additional four or five seconds for the answer. Duplicate one of the options and change it to the answer, making it larger. Set it to appear when the options disappear. Finally, go to Elements and add a celebration effect at the end. Let's see how this looks. Now pay attention to this part. Go to Apps and search for Bulk Create. Then click on Enter Data Manually. After that, copy some of the riddles we generated earlier, about 20 of them. Make sure to copy the table as shown in the video. Now go back to Canva and select the upper left corner, then Paste. After that, click on Done, Next, go to the title, right-click, and select Connect Data. After that, select Title, and do the same for everything. Then, click on Continue.
Afterward, click on Generate. Canva will generate them for you. Now, return to Canva and change the background and the colors, and repeat the same process for the next 20. Do this every time so you have different templates on your channel. Now, let's add some music to make the video more engaging. I recommend uploading the music from your computer to ensure you don't encounter copyright issues. I'm just going to use random music from Canva. After adding the music to the timeline, resize it to fit one of the shorts. Next, select it and press Ctrl plus D and the music will be duplicated. Once you're finished with the shorts, click on Share, then Download, and make sure to check the box that says Download in Separate Files so you don't get one long one-hour video. And that's it for this video. Click that subscribe button and check my email list below.